Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to go through how to pass your prop firm challenge trading NASDAQ, for example, on a prop firm like Funded Next, probably one of the best prop firms out there in the world. I really like the fact that you can get a profit share from the challenge phase. So if you do like a normal two step, you can actually with a $6,000, $15,000, $25,000 when you pass it, you actually get 15% of the profits of your challenge phase that you can then use and get back. And then a quality promise from Funded Next is that they will pay you out $1,000 if they are more than 24 hours late with your payouts, which is great. So it's basically all the normal profit targets and things like that that any other prop firm will give you. But they have these extra incentives to make you trade well and just go for it because it's also very affordable and they pay you out your um, refundable fee as well. So guys, give Funded Next a go, link in my bio, but let's get back to the video on how to pass your prop firm challenge, okay? So it's important when you do your prop firm challenges is that you will not always have winning trades. You will have some losing trades. So I'm going to quickly write down some important stuff over here. For you guys to see so one you just need to catch more winning pips than losing pips okay so guys you're not always going to win every trade you're not always going to be profitable with every trade so you need to get that in your mind you need to make sure that when you have a daily loss limit that you don't hit that but let's say, for example, you're going to go for, I'm just going to pick an easy one. Let's say you're going to go for the $100,000, right? 5% of that is $5,000. So my aim will be to have five profitable trades for $1,000 each, okay? And then my loss will be, let's say, $300 loss. Like my stop loss will be a $300 loss. So that you can lose three trades in a row and have one winning trade and you will still be in the profit. So... Let's gonna let's write that down quickly. So, thousand. It's just an example, obviously, guys. You can reduce that ratio. You can make it five hundred dollar wins or two hundred fifty dollar wins, and then fifty dollar or eighty dollar losses. But this just for example. So don't take it as it is. But let's look at it. So thousand um, dollar TPs, and we will then look at. $300 stop losses. Okay, so this is exactly how I trade with my strategy that you will see in all my YouTube videos, especially on NASDAQ. So I'm going to go through all these blue examples quickly, jump through them quickly. If you want to know exactly how I do this type of trading, you can go to my other YouTube videos where I go into more depth. But this is how I usually pass my fun and account challenges is by using this and not getting emotional when I have a stop loss. If you hit stop loss, you're going to have to stop trading for that day or stop trading that specific trade and move on to the next one. Don't revenge trade. That's when people lose their accounts is when they revenge trade and not follow their rules. Okay, so let's go to um, example one. Okay, we're going to keep this here. Remember this, write this down or choose your own place to put that. But we're going to quickly look at this one. So we have a break of a low here like you will see in all my videos. And we have an order block in that blue area there. That's my most recent opposite candle. Um, if you go on a little bit of a high time frame, you will then also maybe find that this is a fair value gap. Well, there is technically a fair value gap over here as well, which is great to confirm that order block as an entry. Then you will place your entry over here. Let's say, for example, your stop loss is 400 pips then i want to make my tp three times bigger well almost a little bit more than three times because 300 goes into a thousand a little bit more than three times but let's just say three times just for the sake of it right now so three times will be there so that's your tp that will be your thousand dollar tp with your 300 dollar sl just remember to go check on the funded account or the funded next on your account that you get what lot you should drop to make a thousand dollars for this type of trade 
There's an easy calculator on your MT5 as well that you can double check it. You can do the math. There's a lot of ways that you guys can actually check what lot to drop on this. But it hit TP. So now I am up $1,000 on my account. Okay. Always chill when you have a stop loss like this. It will sometimes come back and, and haunt you and, and give you a bad time. But just leave your stop loss in. Don't move your stop loss into break even that much with funded accounts. It's going to mess it up. Rather just stick with your TP and your stop loss. Okay. So now we have $1,000 in the positive. Okay. So here's another example. We broke the low over here. We have our order blocks there. Um, this will be this order block, the most recent, with a little fair value cap there, which is perfect. Let me zoom in so you guys can see with a, a little fair value gap over there. Okay. That gap there. Okay. So you will have your entry there. Your stop loss will be just above. And now your TP will be three times bigger. For example, it's like a little bit more than three times, like I said previously. But there's your TP hit and your stop loss not hit. So now, the next day, you will plus $1,000. So now, I'm on plus $2,000. Okay, great. Remember, you have to trade five, minimum, five tr trading days minimum. So it's good. Don't rush it. Don't try and pass it within the first day. Take your trades as they come. Okay, here's an example of a losing trade. Okay. It broke the high there. Went up. Ignore this order block completely. So let's quickly look at that, right? My stop loss would probably be there. My TP would be three times more, which was there. Let's 3 point whatever times more. It hit my stop loss. So I'm going to minus my $300. So now I'm on plus $1,700, okay? We lost $300 with that trade. So now you guys can see how, okay, you took the loss, but don't take it too badly, okay? So now here's another example. We've got the high broken here. High is broken over there. Here is your order block, this one over here. Um, I just had this one in for in case if you're not sure about this one There was also another opportunity for you to enter So I just want to show people that once you maybe miss a trade there can be another opportunity for you to enter later that day So there's one there as well. So I'm just showing that's the order block fair value gap there all those type of nice things But here's the order block for this buy. it broke the high here indicating that bullish movement bullish upward trend and We got our entry in here I'm not going to go through the stop losses and stuff again, but this was a TP as well. So now I am on $2,700. Okay, let's go do the next one. Okay, so now we've got this high over here. that was broken over here and you will have this tp in here okay so now let's go through it again let's put our buy in on this order block there let's say this is one of those losses again because it didn't hit tp it came close it went to two but this was a loss as well because like i said leave your stop loss in or in this case yeah it went and hit your stop loss over there so just leave your stop loss in. I'm gonna. I would rather take the three hundred dollar loss, than start taking these little partial profits that will one day when I make a loss again will be like impossible to to follow up with. You know. So there we go. Two thousand four hundred dollar loss. Ah, two thousand four hundred dollars. Now my account is in the profit. Okay, here's another one. So once again, same same type of trade, but there was two options again. It broke the highs over here for that buy entry here on this order block and that little fair value gap there. But if you missed it, there is another cleaner opportunity or a more easier to spot opportunity over here with this high being broken into that order block, the top of that um, order block there into that fair value gap there. Uh, so let's quickly write up this trade. 
long position over here. I would probably put my order my SL down there. And there's your three to one trade like that. Okay, so now we are up again to $3,400. Let's see if I have any other trades spotted out. Yes, we do. Here's another one on that fair value gap and that order block there. Definitely going to be a three to one on that side. I'm not going to do everyone exactly, but that is $4,400 again. And yeah, so that's the trades that I've been seeing recently. Here is another one where, let's say, for example, it broke this high here. And it hit this order block there. But I haven't analyzed this completely right now. But you are now $4,400 in the profit. And you are taking your losses, your $300 losses. And you are taking your thousand dollar tps and that's how you pass you need to follow your strategy completely to the t every time and you will pass your funnel account challenge it's when you revenge trade losses like trades like this oh no it's back in i'm gonna buy again um and it might eat your stop loss again and things like that so now you're minus six hundred dollars um and then you revenge trade again then you minus nine hundred dollars and now you have to make up with one full trade again and stuff like that so no rather just stay with your strategy and take your thousand dollar tps correctly so that's how i pass my funded account challenges it's very boring it's not big trades that pass within the first or second trade it's cons consequently going through all the trades every day one trade or two trades a day max and just going for that three to one ratio or four to one you can do four to one you can do two to one you can do five to one but just make sure that it's according to the chart and the type of instrument you're trading that it's worth it because nas moves a lot of pips so that's why i do three to one i wouldn't really do five to one or more i would do two to one three to one maybe four to one but yeah that's what i do so you will have losing trades but you will have more winning trades when you follow your strategy properly and just take those profits according to your three to one two to one or whatever but yeah perfect i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you have questions Go check out Fun and Next. I love the fact that you get your profit share back from buying and then passing, which is nice. So you get your profit share and you get a refundable fee. You have a lot of steps. You can have a one step, two step, swap free, swap account. There's a light. Go through all of them and you will see the perfect challenge for you. But I personally like these two steps, swap accounts any of these ones they are awesome so go check out find the next link in my bio and also go check out my previous video on copy trading does it work or not i'm currently running a challenge that side so i'll see you guys in the next one let me know in the comments if you have any questions and i'll also do some live trading soon on my funded account challenges with funded next my funded next account i'll do some live trading and film it and then i'll put it on youtube as well so check you guys then